Right, Borough Green, June the 7th, 2014. I'm walking up Church Lane. I usually drive up here, but there's um, somebody parked where I normally park. So I can't go there, we're not with the van. So I've had to park it, leave it back there. Then, oh, it doesn't matter, it gives me a chance to... Um, Video the lands of the ancestors, some of whom might have lived in this very lane. St. Augustine's. Never been, I don't know, it's been videoed actually, yeah, it has been videoed. I don't know if I videoed walking up the lane or not. You probably could have got in there. I don't expect the church to be open now. That isn't the idea. The idea is to place flowers. Hall Lodge. Could have been based on an old building again. See, normally I park there and then I reverse up there. I normally do. Very bright tonight. I've got some flowers in here for Edward and Mary Ann. And Stephen and um, Anne, or is it Mary? I always get muddled up with them too. Actually, <laughs> memories going. Someone else will have to get the tree going soon because my memory's going. Like this lot here, I know all these. Um, the Laces, they're related to the oaks. Ah, it's beautiful and peaceful there. It's a beautiful place. I'm biased, of course. Very biased. I expect it's locked. I think she locks it at five. <sighs> St. Augustine's Church, Borough Green. Yeah, it won't be open now, but I knew it wouldn't be. Unless she's forgot to... To, um... Yeah, it doesn't matter because I'm, I'm probably coming back tomorrow. There's a possibility I might. If not, I'm going to still pop in. Oh yeah, there's the John Bridge and Ellen Oak grave there. What I'm going to do is leave Edward and Stephen. I'll bring a couple of little ones back to go on here in a minute. Oh, sure, you've had it on full. Everything will be blurred what you've done. You've had it on full whack. None of that will come out when you're walking up the street. Here we have my lovely St. Augustine's and the graveyard of my ancestors. I'm connected to nearly everyone in this graveyard, by the way. <coughs> One way or another, people have married into each other here. Of course I can't remember everything unfortunately. There's webs and oaks and mingays and starlings. Oh there's so many. It's, uh, oh there's some steps there. Looks like you can get up in there. I've never really tried or thought about it. Now I've seen them there. Have a go at that when I get an opportunity. Yeah, the starlings, look. Jaggards. And of course, Jolene's 
Georgia and Duncan's lot. They've had people from here as well now. It's a lovely evening. I'm just doing a quick little video for this particular visit. The last time it came was 2010. We've got a Lewis Jaguar died since then. 1923 to 2012. Yeah, he was still alive when I came last time. This person wasn't. The Wilfred Turner. Yeah. I love this graveyard. Such a personal connection to it. It was wild when me and Zara came. There were loads of bees. It scared me a lot. I'll go over them all properly in a minute. And here's mine. Over here. They haven't uh, done any damage to them yet. Somebody's been over and done a bit of um a little bit of work on there. Edward Oak. Hi Edward. And my great 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 grandfather and Mary Ann, who would have been Briggs. Hardwoods, of course. Then we got Mary Oak, a great aunt of some description going back in time. And then we've got Stephen. This is Stephen and his wife and my um, great, 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 great grandmother. It's Anne Brown, Jane Brown, or Mary Brown. Oh, you, I used to know backwards, I really was good. Yeah, there's still a lot of them. There's people contact me about the graves in here. I haven't come very organised, I'm afraid, because I've got, I've done a lot and I've got very tired. And I didn't bring as much information with me as I should have done. Here's some footstones here. These are, these are mine. That's, um, Edward Oak and Mary, or it could be Stephen, that one. And, and that, that one there. And probably that one. They're, they're, they belong to me. This church was much bigger in the past. It's got lots of little um, giveaway signs. Like, look at that sort of feature now. I'm learning a lot more since Time Team's been on, and I've been reading more about stuff. And that very eastern-looking bit there. Yeah, and here, look. It was either they never finished it or they had to fill it in. Very, it's always been, bo it's always boggy here. That would have been nice if I had another window there though, wouldn't it? And if you go around here, of course you've got some, um, an oak chap. That thing on top of uh, the de Burr lady, Elizabeth de Burr's hands, has uh, got my one of my great grandfather's names ri written on it, William Oak. And they were wardens and all sorts in this church. Chris and Buried wedded here. It is normally open, but I've got here late. Right, I'm going to just put these flowers out and then I'm going to take some more photographs of some of the graves. Um, of course, they're all fading all the time, you know. All fading. Coping. Yeah, these these are very local people here. There's pictures of them in the old photograph albums. The Copens. The Laces married into the Oaks. Here's a a Briggs, see? Harriet Briggs. Died February. Looks like... God, it can't be 1952, can it? It must be 18. She was 64. And John Briggs. Husband of the above. 1918, age 75. So it could be... Uh, 
1900 or something like that. It's a Briggs one and I'm sure there was a Luke. There is a Luke. Someone married a Luke. And um, that's St Augustine, is that again? Somebody married a Luke. Ah, here we are. Mary Ann Briggs. Wife of Luke Briggs. Of this parish. She died. Da, 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 yeah. This is a Briggs. This, this is the wife of Luke. These are relatives as well. And he was here. Years ago, there was a stone of him. It's not there anymore. And some, a lot of these people are related. That are all around each other. They're related. Pledgers, yeah, look, the pledgers, they're mentioned in the, some of the books. Henry and Martha Ann Pledger, in memory of the sons of them who died October the 1st, 1918. Charles, he died age 33. Frank died October the 2nd, 1882, age 8 months. Henry died the 15th of October, 1882, age 3. Archibald died March the 31st, age um, 1892 age 1 and one died in the war look. they lost all their sons one way or another pledger, yeah it's definitely mentioned and there's another one here Martha Ann the beloved wife of Henry Pledger she died 1907 20th of September age 54 and Henry died um June the 20th, 1928, age 72. So that's the pledges, and I do often get people ask me about the pledges. And I don't think I've, um, I haven't videoed them before. And there are graves missing. As Susan Briggs was around, around here somewhere, I mean, she might still be here. Petite, yeah, that's one. Misson, Charles Misson, Els, Elsden, these are the Elsden, James Elsden, died 1898, February, looks like the 26th, James Elsden, and this, I think this one's an Elsden, I'm not sure. They were a lot clearer than this. I got them when they didn't have so much colour plucker on them. And somebody down there as well. In memory of... <sighs> Jorson, I don't know if I recognise that man. Yeah, that, one, that is an old one. What date's that written on there? 1833. It's got a very old looking stone, isn't it? I'm ready to put the flowers on over there. I haven't put them out yet. There they are. Near Edward Oak's grave. Ready to go out. That's the little family. That's my little family there. I know they're mine. And uh, we're related to lots of these. Lots of these are our relatives. They're not all showing, of course. No, anymore. There's one gone missing there. I think that was the um, Suzanne somebody or other. She was there for a long time, but it was at a funny angle. <sighs> She's probably still there. It's probably broken, they've just left it there. More petites, more petites. Mungay, Thomas Mungay. 
James Gin, Gin's another name, Harriet and James Gin, William Petit, Robert Petit, Thomas Mingay, and 1874, age 60. Um, Turner, we've got Henry Turner here, died January the 20th or 25th, 1857, age 80. And his wife, is it Alice? Yeah. She died 1878, age 77, or something like that. Yeah, they've, they've, um, they're, they're related to us somehow. Who's this here? Alice and somebody. Very kind of covered up in ivy. So that's probably another Turner as well, see in there. They got very covered up, and there's lots of stones all around the sides, by the way. Yeah, each time I come, there's a... The old grave goes missing. Right, over and out for now, everyone.